Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is you are unique. Over to you, Puneet Ranjan. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. There is nobody on planet Earth like you. And you are unique. You have unique gifts that nobody else has. So as, as quickly as you can accept that, the happier you will be. Why try and be somebody else? And why worry about others accepting you? I am who I am. I'm proud of the fact that I am this way. And besides, I don't have a choice. <laughs> this is who I am. And so I am very accepting of the fact that I come with, and my wife is very accepting of the fact that I come with a certain package and it's taken me a while to get comfortable with, this is who I am. And these were the gifts that were given to me by my parents and um, I'm not trying to be somebody else. I'm me. And I'm happy about that. So I would say to you, you're unique, you have your own gifts. There's nobody else like you. And um, just get comfortable with that. And that will give you a sense of peace and frankly, tremendous confidence. Because you're not trying to please somebody else, you're trying to please yourself. Now, it's easier said than done because we are trained from an early age to try and please others. I think that's a losing battle because you ultimately end up trying to be somebody else. And I say that about our firm as well. I mean, I say in the US that we aspire to lead the profession. We're not defined or validated by comparing ourselves to somebody else. We don't care. We don't care what PwC does. We don't care what McKinsey does. We don't care because we're not going to be defined or validated by comparing ourselves to them. We're unique. We're special. There's nobody else like us. So we're going to define the profession in our image. And I think that applies to individuals as well. We're all unique. And if you try and be somebody else, I think you'll be quite unhappy. People like to put us in boxes. As entrepreneurs, I know that we don't like having other people put us in a box. That's probably why we left that company and started our own thing. But as entrepreneurs, I find that we box ourselves in as well. And we define ourselves based on what other people are doing. And you have to understand that as long as you are comparing yourself to somebody else, you're never gonna have ultimate success because your goal is to be the best version of yourself, not to try to copy and be somebody else. And I get this a lot in my top 10 rules. There's a lot of misunderstanding around it. I made the top 10 rules as people that you want to model but not copy, right? I'm not, I don't wanna be Steve Jobs or Martha Stewart or Oprah Winfrey. I wanna be the best version of myself. And I learned to do that by modeling the success, strategies, wisdom, ideas of people who've done a lot more than me. So if you see a top 10 video from somebody who you don't have a lot of respect for, maybe you don't like Steve Jobs, maybe you thought he was a terrible leader and a terrible manager, maybe that's your opinion, great. You can still learn something from Steve Jobs to help you be the best version of yourself. And that's the goal. I get a lot of people who will copy the stuff that I'm doing. Right? People have copied my Believe slogan and they've copied my logo and icon and you know, use their own name instead. And people write to me and they say, are you worried about it? You know, I've had people copy my top 10 videos and do the exact same video, but they put themselves at the front and they do their own version of the three points that I say. And people say, Evan, do you worry about that? What should you do about it? Like, I don't care. Because as long as you're just trying to copy me, you're never gonna achieve anything great, right? You cannot out Evan, Evan. It's not possible, right? You can't be a better version of me than me. The trick though is to then model something that I might be doing and put your own spin on it. That's where success will come. Not by just trying to copy what I'm doing, but modeling my success to then put your own spin and do something successful in your own way. And that's the challenge that I have for you guys. Figure out what's unique about you, pull and learn from all these people who've done a lot more to make you the best version of yourself. So the question of the day today is, I wanna know what is so unique about you? 
Leave it in the comments below. I'm really curious to find out. We're going a little deeper today. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Continue to believe. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of Espresso. I wake up